what if we lost our entire atmosphere all at once? Let's say the Earth's magnetic field took a break and allowed strong solar winds to come and strip away our protective space blanket. Would Earth instantly turn into a big lifeless rock? Would you still be able to breathe? Could our atmosphere ever come back? This is what if, and here's what would happen if our atmosphere vanished into thin air. Just how important is the atmosphere to our planet? It's absolutely vital. It protects us from asteroids and solar radiation. It regulates our climate. It makes life on Earth possible. Our nearest neighbor, Mars, lost most of its atmosphere some four billion years ago, and look what's become of it. Once warm and wet, it ain't the planet it used to be. Its atmosphere hasn't vanished completely. There's still a very thin layer left, but have you ever heard of any life found on Mars? What exactly would happen to Earth when the atmosphere went away? Well, it's far from a happy ending. Take away the Earth's atmosphere and suddenly it would become very, very quiet. You wouldn't hear a thing. That's because sound waves are actually vibrations in the air. But no air, no sound. There's no sound in space. The Star Wars universe just isn't accurate. The sky would turn black because there would be no particles in the air to scatter the blue light of sunshine. Planes would plummet to the ground and birds. They need air pressure to support them as they fly. Oceans, lakes and rivers would start acting weird as well. With no atmospheric pressure, the boiling point of water would drop significantly from 100 degrees. All of Earth's water would start boiling away like a forgotten kettle. Not all of it would turn to vapor. Soon we'd reach an equilibrium with enough vapor to prevent the water from boiling. But with zero atmospheric pressure, the water wouldn't remain liquid. What's left of it would turn into ice. Grab a winter coat as it's going to get pretty chilly. Without an atmosphere to trap heat near the surface, Earth's temperature would drop to an average of minus 18 degrees. And temperatures would see extreme shifts between day and night. Now slather on the sunscreen because even with temperatures that low, you can still get sunburn. Without the atmosphere to filter solar radiation, sunbathing would become lethal. But would you even survive that long? Only if you had a pressure suit and an oxygen mask on. Without those two things, you're no longer with us. In order to inhale, your diaphragm uses the pressure difference between the air inside your lungs and the air outside of your body. Without outside pressure, you wouldn't be able to breathe, even if you were hooked up to a respirator. But don't hold your breath. Your lungs would pop in a matter of seconds. Exhaling would help your body stay alive for about three minutes, but you'd be unconscious after just 15 seconds. Everything that needs oxygen would die. All animals, all plants. That includes everything in the oceans too. But there'd still be some bacteria left. Maybe it would evolve into something intelligent. Eventually, solar radiation would break the water vapor down into oxygen. Combine that with the carbon dioxide pumped from volcanoes and from geothermal vents, and it would create a new atmosphere. But this would be long after humans were gone and too thin for us to breathe anyway. Now, take a deep breath because you can, and relax. No massive meteor or coronal ejection is likely to strip away our atmosphere anytime soon. And from now on, try to appreciate every sunset you see. If we end up fleeing this planet to colonize Mars, they won't look this beautiful.